Kim Sut, or the action of bringing the knees together. It, it directly translates as clamping knees. In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what it is about, why it's important for your development, and how you can really make it a part of your Wing Chun in order to uh, make your structure better, make your compactness better, and overall make your energy better and lead with the proper parts of the body. Alright, Kim Sut or, or Kim Sut really is the action of bringing the femur bones, which are the thigh bones, together. It's really what it is. Now, it goes together with Ting Yu, which is the straightening of the lower back, and it is an action also of the hips and the glutes uh, turn on in order to bring that together. So let me show you what it is, let me show you what it's not to, and how people can get confused with that. So the action of Kim Soot is, is really about here, bringing them together, making your legs compact. That's a really important thing that we're doing. We need to have the legs compact, just like we need to have the arms compact. This is no different than really bringing the elbows in and making sure you're fighting from behind the elbows. We also want to fight from behind the knees, but I'll talk a little bit about that in a little bit. So the action of Kim Soot is to pull like this. I don't have Kim Soot here, now I have Kim Soot. This action of drawing and becoming more compact is really what we want. Now when you're practicing it in your Sunim Tao, you're gonna practice it with pigeon toe with your toes in. The toes going in and the knees pointing in are not exactly what I refer to as Kim Soot. Even though the, at, they point in, that's not, we're trying to develop something else with that. We're trying, to, we're trying to develop the action of pointing our knees where we're headed. This is a developmental stance. It helps with the knee development, it helps with the torquing that we're doing, but it's not exactly the action of being compact with these thigh bones, with, with the femur bones. That is the action of Kim Soot. So when we move, we're gonna pull together. We would never move and be sloppy and let this lack of compactness between the knees happen. We want to always keep them together no matter what we're doing whether it's pivoting or advancing or even walking around or um, so gherkin, hewn bowing. These things, this compactness between the legs is really what Kim Soot's about. So how do you know if you have Kim Soot or not? How do you really know? It has to do initially with the hips, okay? The hips and the glute action of pulling together. Then we have the adductor muscles on the insides of the thighs pulling together. What I want you to do is I want you to grab something between your legs. I want you to grab a ball, a block. Let me show you what we work with. This is what we use. It's approximately a fist width apart. And when we're practicing our Sunim Tao, we want to do it this far apart for development. Now, you can get this wrong a little bit in your training, and if you get off just by a little bit, it can take you down really far roads in, in the wrong direction. This, when you're practicing your Sunim Tao, you place the block here, okay? You do turn your knees in and your toes in, okay? As you do that, be very careful not to mess up your Ting Yu. The Ting Yu is when the, is, the Ting Yu and that anchor is when you have that spine anchored down through the legs into the ground. That's a really good thing. So 
the action of bringing the legs together and turning the pelvis under to straighten the lower spine is opposite. They're opposite energies. They're against each other. So when you understand that you've got to keep both, that's the beginning of starting to develop this correctly. Introducing my Wing Chun Distance Learning Program at WingChunLessons.com. Designed to help those with a sincere interest to learn Wing Chun at home. Not everyone has access to a Wing Chun school or local instructor where they live. This Wing Chun home training program also gives you a chance to become certified and recognized under the Dragon Institute ranking system, which is a necessary first step for those who wish to become certified Wing Chun instructors. Read more at wingchunlessons.com.